Chairman and Editor in Chief, Pharma Leaders Group. Dr. Satya Brahma is a noted author and research analyst. Dr. Satya is the founder chairman of Network 7 Media Group, Asia's most acclaimed research media firm engaged in timely in-depth analyses of companies, industries, markets, and world economics. Dr. Satya Brahma is also the author of many top books, including the best-selling Truth vs. Hope, Truth vs. Hype, Dr. Satya Brahma is the most respected and distinguished media personality and known for championing the cause of citizens' rights and free speech. Dr. Satya Brahma has been at the forefront of United Nations peace programs. Dr. Satya holds a master's degree in political science with first class first gold medalist from Barhampur University, Orissa, and a master's degree in journalism and mass communications. Dr. Satya Brahma has often been seen in the intellectual platform as keynote speaker. Dr. Satya Brahma is an experienced motivational speaker and leader a visionary with a demonstrated history of working in the non-profit organization management industry. Dr. Satya Brahma is also being considered as one of the top international healthcare experts and has delivered powerful keynote addresses and been a featured speaker at international events. Dr. Brahma, in a career spanning two decades of rich, relevant and varied experience in program management evidence-based advocacy, knowledge management, development, communication, and public policy. As a global leader of repute, Dr. Satya Brahma has been awarded in many top industry bodies and international platforms. Dr. Brahma believes that nothing in this world is impossible. If you are in the right side of the reasoning, and one must not stop the journey till the last miles are covered. A passionate writer, research scholar and a fearless journalist. Dr. Brahma has established his credentials as a top-notch industry expert and transformational leader. Dr. Satya Brahma believes that nothing in this world is impossible if you are on the right side of the reasoning and one must not stop the journey till the last miles are covered. A passionate writer, research scholar, fearless journalist, Dr. Brahma has established his credentials as a top-notch industry expert and transformation leader. So ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Dr. Satya Brahma to deliver the welcome address and, and wait before he comes to the stage. Where is Dr. Brahma? Dusan, come here. Come here first. Come. Me? So we first honor uh, Leslie for giving it. So a small token of appreciation as a memento. Then we'll run the IV. It looks small, but it's big. So you start. Of the 
that simply mean all other opinions of the healthcare ecosystem in India shall slowly but surely unsolved. Dr. Satya Bandha, the Vishnu Chairman and Editor-in-Chief of Network Sony Media Group, says that when there was an enormous shortage of public hospitals, and state expenditure on healthcare is abysmally low than any international yardstick, tax money should be used to set up public hospitals. That's what we must do. Government of the day should make no profit. Dr. Sathya Brahma believes that healthcare in India faces several challenges, including inadequate access, low insurance penetration, and a growing chronic disease burden. India will need to invest in resilient information infrastructure, healthcare spending, and 2024 onwards will see a massive healthcare transformations in the post pandemic world. significant advancements in the way healthcare is delivered in the country in terms of employment and revenue. It has been one of the largest sectors and is growing at a brisk pace. The biggest health emergencies of other times have not just laid down the myriad challenges and gaps in our health system, but also highlighted the importance of investing in well-being at both personnel and system level. It has ushered in an era of digital and technological innovations and advancements that is expected to help communities fulfill those requirements at a much faster pace. The Indian Dream Turn 75 As India lives towards its 100th Independence Day in 2047, second most powerful country, one of the dreams of every Indian for its basic rights of healthcare will be a reality. No power in the world can stop this. We are strong, we are reformers, and we translate visions into reality. Over the last 75 years, India has become a backlog for innovation in the healthcare sector.
fear of sending her to the global DVD after Chinese hating person and the USA is 16 person. A very good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, the captains of the industry, the healthcare leaders. Uh, some of them will be joining later on, as you can see that uh, the momentum of healthcare is going on. I must first acknowledge uh, one distinguished guest who has come from Nepal, Dr. Sudip Sista. He is a leading oncologist from Nepal Cancer Center. He has come all the way from Nepal over here to participate in the program. He is sitting right uh, uh, in the left row. So, very grand welcome to you, sir, actually then. So, look, the, you know, the problems with India on healthcare aspect is quite acute. Although I'm trying to give a very rosy picture of what has been happening there, because we should not be a pessimist, we should be optimist. And I believe in one thing, that let us not find problems, let us find solutions. So, many people will come and ask for problems, they will not tell the solution. So, who are going to give the solution? It is us only. We will have to put pressure and try to get the things organized and the way we do it we must also approach a coherent and a strategic approach to deal with those problems which will actually lead to the practical solutions which is ahead of us now often there are smaller issues which are lost in the actually headlines so many people who turn on the paper on the or the tv sets they find out the headlines making all this but we never try to go deep into that one so I am here to find out what are those contents that make the headlines. It is not the headlines which is going into the content. So the contents and the kind of approach that we make will actually make the headlines. I am sorry to state that most of the media channel and uh, many of my colleagues in the industry do find sensational news and try to give a different picture. And these pictures are not very true actually often because they are often biased and they are not independent. And if we get lost on those news and those actually news which do not carry any weightage, then we would not be able to find out the real issues which are we are facing actually. The real issues are about a patient-centric approach. The real issues are about affordability. The real issues about making healthcare accessible to the rural India. 73.4% of Indian population live in villages actually. We have been talking a lot about doing an activities and making them actually aware of the programs, but still it is not getting through. The doctor-patient ratio age we talk now is 1 into 1,540. This means in every 1,600 uh, uh, doctors, uh, patients, uh, there is going to be one doctor. So this needs to stop. And I must compliment the government, the Narendra Modi's government, what has done it, that they are giving a lot of importance on this aspect. And we are in the verge of building around 18 to 20 new uh, medical colleges which will actually produce more number of doctors. COVID-19 pandemic has given us an opportunity in crisis. I see COVID-19 pandemic, what had happened to us, which entire world and the healthcare fraternity made a standstill. They couldn't do anything, but this has actually learned us how to cope up with the challenges. This is about trying to find out the solution. And we did so actually. The first and the second wave actually went on. That time actually we were completely blank. And then when we came to know about it, we completely controlled it. So this shows our resilience. So this shows our advantages of making things progress and how we can do things much in a difficult times. Imagine uh, uh, Dr. Krishna Ayla will be here in the afternoon. He couldn't make it now. So when, he when I was speaking to him, when he made Covaxin, for uh, all of you, as you know, to make any molecule, forget about uh, injectable actually, making any molecules, it takes around 10 to 12 years actually of research. It passes through various investigations, various stages. And uh, uh, other Punavala and Krishna have thought of bringing the indigenous medicine. Of course, the Serum Institute is coming from Asta Ideal. It's a technological, technology transfer. The first indigenous uh, uh, COVID vaccine came from Dr. Krishna Illa, who has been talking to us many times, actually. And when I spoke to him, that how could you do it in two years' time? It takes to eight to ten hours' time. Then he told me that, actually, I have lost 100 years of my life. And we have developed it finally and everybody who have got benefited out of it. So we need more of Dr. Krishna Ilyas. We need more of other Punavala to come forward. But the real problem lies in India is about how the patients actually get benefited from the hospital. 
I feel that when they go to the hospital, they first take into admission rather than going through the billing process, which is actually very cumbersome. So I here appeal to all the hospitals and all the owners actually, give them, give them a time. Because I know nothing comes free and you need to take actually a consideration, a lot of a cost burden. A hospital to run, you have to pay to the doctors, nurses, paramedicals, the equipment, the diagnosis, so many things are there. But as but you must also be compassionate while giving the healthcare services to them. Because if the moment you give those healthcare services to those needy patients, this will actually change the scenario actually. That will be the game changing for moment, the moment for India. And healthcare transformation in India will come out full fledged and will make India uh, proud. So this is the area which, which we must look into it. And second area is about the healthcare insurance. So as of now, actually, uh, uh, when we talk about this one, 14 crores people, Indian population, have been benefited from the PM Ausman Jojana, uh, actually. If you look at the current figure, actually, 67% of Indian populations, they spend out of the pocket. They do not have uh, insurance, actually. When you look at the West and other countries, they have the universal healthcare programs where the patient gets easy access to hospitals, they get it. So this is the real uh, uh, crisis which we are facing, and we must address it. And some of the healthcare leaders who are present here will agree with me that uh, in terms of quality and in terms of uh, our quality of medicines, the way we make it, we are number one actually. Even we are much more stringent than USFDA, UK, MHRA and all those international statutory guidelines. So we make things better, we do a correct way, our facilities are world class. F USFDA should not pinpoint finger at you that that clean room technology is not being taken care of it so that they will blacklist you. When you go to US, and European countries, you will find the factories you are not that strong as India. So India is proud of having those plants. And as far as my knowledge, there are 747 USFDA plants here in India producing medicines and generics which are supplied to the worldwide. India has truly come out and India has arrived. It is time that we take the momentum ahead and make health healthcare accessible and make healthcare reach to the common people. That is what transform India. That is, that is what is going to, going to make healthcare a much more needed benefit what the people are looking for. With this, I conclude my presentation. Thank you very much for listening to it. Thank you very much.